guys, welcome to another presentation of Star Pupils Tuition. Uh, this video is going to be a, a specific exam question and it's a complex algebraic fraction. So if I just start by writing down the, uh, the fraction 3 over x minus 1 minus 2 over x plus 1 equals to 1. Okay. So what we need to do is solve this equation and we're going to do this nicely in a couple of steps. Okay, so our first step would be to uh, multiply the denominators uh, by um, onto the top. And so we, we need the same denominator, denominator at the bottom. So if we times this and this, we'd get that denominator, <laughs> sorry about that, that denominator. And if whatever we do to the bottom, we need to do it to the top. So we just cross multiply that. So we would do 3 times by x plus 1. And we would do <coughs> uh, same. So 2 times by x minus 2. So minus 2 times by x minus 1. All over x um, x minus 1 and x plus 1 equals to 1 so once we've done that we can uh, multiply everything out so 3 times by x equals let's just change the color of this 3 times by x equals 3x 3 times by 1 equals 3 minus 2 times by x equals minus 2x and minus 2 times by minus 1 equals plus 2 um, so once we have this we can multiply this out this is um, this x squared and minus 1 and plus 1 and cancel out so it's just the difference between two squares and uh, x squared minus 1 actually just for the benefit of this video I'll just do that um, x minus 1 and x plus 1 okay so let's do the multiplication method uh, x times by x equals x squared uh, x times by 1 equals plus x minus 1 times by x equals minus x and minus 1 uh, times by 1 equals uh, sorry minus 1 and then plus x and minus x cancel out so we get x squared minus 1 see that's how we did it there but just to show you how I did it anyway once we're here we need to write the equals 1 so what we do here is we need to uh, take this up the escalator onto the other side so to do that we would have 3x plus 3 minus 2x plus 2 equals basically 1 times by x squared minus 1 and that's obviously not going to make any difference so it's basically x squared minus 1 on this side x squared and if we just um, clean this up a bit so actually what we need to do first sorry my bad let me just write this out make it a bit clear minus 2x plus 2 and I think I should change the color of the pen so um, let's choose a blue so moving here, uh, now that we have this up to this bit, we can bring this minus 1 onto this side. So if we did that, we would have 3x still, plus 3, minus 2x, plus 2, and then a minus 1 over here, we bring it to a plus 1, equals x squared. Okay? So once we've done this, we just need to clean this up a bit. So 3x and minus 2x would give us x. So we can write x here. We can just cross this out for this. Um, plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals um, 6. So it's uh, plus 6. And um, once we have that, x plus 6 equals x squared. And then now simply we just need to bring it all onto the x squared side. So x squared. Uh, this would become minus x and this would become minus 6 equals to um, 0 and um, once we've done that what we can do is uh, simply 
uh, factorize it and then solve it. So if you factorize this, a times c equals 6, and we need to get 1. We could get 3 times by 2. Okay, let me just do this in case. Uh, to get this, we need to get minus 1. So we could have uh, minus, yeah, minus 3 and positive 2 to get that. So once we've done that, we can just put it into the uh, into brackets x minus 3 and x plus 2 equals 0. And um, because we have this equals 0, we need to uh, get rid of it, and that makes x 3, uh, <coughs> sorry, or x equals minus 2. And that's how we've solved this equation. So I know that might have been a bit confusing, but let's go over this once again in our yellow pen. So this is the equation they gave us to solve. Uh, it's an algebraic fraction. What we did was we uh, times the denominators across cross multiplication. So the x plus 1 times by the 3 and the x minus 1 times by the 2. And we times these two together so we had the same denominator. Uh, we did that here, and this is um, simply expanding your brackets, multiplying out your brackets. We multiplied them out here, 3x plus 3 and 2x uh, plus 2. And we mod uh, we times or we multiply these brackets out over here, uh, just simply multiplying them. And we they cancel out to give us x squared minus 1. So we got that. And we wanted to get rid of this um, bottom fraction, the denominator. So we moved it up the escalator onto this side. And one, when we did that, we simply times it by the 1, which made no difference. So we had this equals x squared minus 1. Once we did that, we simply cleaned this up a bit, this uh, equation. Uh, actually, before we did that, this minus 1 moved onto this side to form a plus 1, which is over here. Okay, and um, we just did 3x minus 2x, which got us the x. We did the plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 which got, the, which got us the plus 6 equals x squared and then we simply moved all of this onto this side to get um, a quadratic expression which is x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Once we did that we uh, found the factors of minus 6 that added up together to get minus 1 and we put them into the brackets and then we simply got our answer there. So I, I hope that wasn't too confusing. Uh, I'm going to make a lesson on algebraic fractions. This was just simply a question that was requested by someone. So um, I'll see you next time when I have the lesson. Bye, guys.